Hello there, internet people. I'm back. Hope you're glad to see me. Um, I have to apologize for the long gap between the last part and this one. Uh, I've had some vacation. Like for the US audience, I've probably taken uh, three years worth of vacation, but um, no, I've just uh, I've been to the desktop summit where I've uh, met some of you. It was great. And then I had some vacation. Um, but uh, I'm back and uh, we're gonna get to the meat of things, uh, which is animating, finally. But sadly, the, the YouTube 15 minute limit uh, again makes me chop this up into two parts. Uh, so in the first part that you're now going to see, uh, we're just gonna prepare the assets, but I think it's just as uh, useful if you see uh, you know the, the the workflow of getting the assets out of a static uh, mockup without actually chopping it up. Uh, uh, Inkscape has some really nice export features, and then getting it into Blender using pretty much the same thing as 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 we have been doing in the past. But you know, it doesn't harm if we repeat some things. And uh, then we talk about like what sort of because animation is kind of a generic term, so what sort of animation we'll be doing, we're going to be talking about uh, keyframing, we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, IPO, uh, I mean the graph editor and the dope sheet, so uh, I hope you uh, you don't mind this being two parts, so they, the part that follows will actually finally do some animation and it's going to be great. So let's get going. So animation is a very broad term, it, it refers to many things, but uh, for us and you know when it boils down to uh, what it really is, is just uh, uh, changing of properties in time. So uh, what you want to do is to look at or have in your, in your layout, have the uh, timeline window that shows you uh, in here it shows frames but you can also switch to uh, to the frame uh, in seconds so this is you can you can you can uh, move uh, on your timeline the global properties for animations you can still find in the render buttons there are two things that that, that might interest you one is the frame rate uh, you know so how fine grade how how fast um, of, a, of a, it's not fast playback. It's how fast it updates uh, for for the uh, constant time that 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 you uh, define. Um, but uh, you, if you think that that uh, you need a, a a higher frame rate than this, you don't have to remap all your animation. Uh, Blender actually has this nice time remapping uh, tool. So you set uh, if you you know inc double the frame rate, you can increase the uh, the, the the time uh, that the original animation took. So everything stays uh, as it was before. So you don't you're not fixed uh, to whatever you pick at the beginning of the project. Anyway, so uh, another another great thing about Blender is that when you're sort of uh, figuring out timings, you can have the animation played back. It's this button here, or you can press Alt A. Um, well, we don't have anything animated, so it doesn't show. But while it's doing things, you can still uh, access anything in the UI, so everything updates. And by default. Blender is made so that it skips frames, so uh, the timing should be should be uh, accurate, even if your machine is not keeping up. But for what we're doing, you will hardly have trouble. Uh, I mean, your machine will hardly have trouble interpolating. So that is uh, the sort of more general overview of what animation is. One thing that will come up um, and that we're going to be working with all the time is uh, the term keyframe. So keyframe is 
a state of a property uh, at a certain time that you have explicitly set. Um, Blender will interpolate between the states, but so keyframes is what you are actually telling Blender that that is the intended state at a certain time. Uh, so that will be animating for us, setting the scene to a certain state at a certain time. And we have many tools how to work with 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 keyframes. So let's uh, let's get started. How do we how do we do it? Um, so what we're gonna do here? Uh, uh, maybe we should we should uh, work with the actual uh, scene and not just a box. Okay, so I've loaded the project that we have prepared since last time where we have the pan uh, the top bar and the wallpaper set up and um, I didn't prepare the textures in advance because this is something I probably want to show you as well how to how to work with with blender and escape um, together uh, when preparing the assets so this is our Blender scene, and I have a mock-up of something that, that we're working on. It's called Boxes for working with uh, virtual uh, machines and, and, and remote connections. Uh, the design is not really done yet, so um, we're just going to uh, probably uh, animate something prematurely. But uh, hopefully, we'll show how the login process to an already set up box works. So you just uh, we're gonna do some scaling and fading and all that nice stuff. But what we want right now is just to have this this window uh, exported as a texture. Uh, what I usually do is I temporarily group everything together and in the export dialog which uh, opened up on my other uh, screen uh, you can do hide all except selected that's going to uh, enable you when you're exporting a selection uh, to not have that background shown so it's going to hide everything and only export what you have selected and since we grouped everything all the stuff that is important to us is going to be exported now this will go to my really odd directory which is monster video my movies screencasts blender okay assets animation textures and we're gonna call this we're going to call this um Mm -mm. Boxes, window, PNG, and now we need to export it, and we should be set. Just gonna check that if it's actually true. What is this? Um, so again, monster video, my movies. Isn't post reversing awesome? Screencast, Blender, no it's not. Assets, animation, textures, there we go. So it looks like that, which is precisely what we want. Yeah. So we import textures, that's the right one. Boxes, window, and we make it shadeless. Use alpha free multiply and uh, that should be it. Unknown pi exception couldn't convert. That doesn't sound very optimistic, but we do have that, but it's not in scale. Why isn't it in scale? Import images is planes. Where was that? Ah, there we go. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, we delete this one and we keep this one. Now I can see that it's uh, on the same Z axis as uh, as the background. So depending on what you select, you get this 
really interesting effect. So what we do, we just G Z and move it slightly in the in the Z direction. Actually, I'm gonna put it above the top bar as well. And so now, if we just render it F12, it should look as in our little mockup. Uh, but we're not going to be animating this window. Uh, we're going to be animating the cursor uh, for the demo. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Uh, I'm going to just save this just to make sure everything's fine. Uh, and I'm going to do file import images as planes. And we have a cursor somewhere, pointer. OK, so again, dimensions and all of these. I don't know why, why that thing is not working. In any case, G, Z, okay. And because it's a mockup, I'm just gonna scale it up a little so it's, it's visible better. Just check if that's a little too much. Scale it down a little. At last, okay. we're, we're set up and uh, we're ready to animate insert the keyframes, to play with the timing, uh, with the easing of, of, of effects and all that good stuff that's coming next time. Uh, I promise it's not going to take that long because I already have that recorded. So stay tuned and uh, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.